All right. Stocks wrapped up their best week in a year today. Heck of a week. So are stocks heading higher from here, or is this just a little head fake from Mr. Market? And what about all this talk about a double dip? How boring. Here now is Don Luskin, Chief Investment Officer at Trend Macro and CNBC contributor. He's never boring. And Michael Pento, Chief Economist at Delta Global Advisors, who also is never boring. Never boring. Don Luskin, I had kind of a bad negative spring, but a couple things have turned me around. And I want to bounce it off both of you guys. First of all, there's a lot of good news coming out of Europe. Second of all, Secretary Geithner said he's going to limit the unnecessary tax hikes on capital gains and dividends to 20% top rates. That ain't so bad. And third, earnings come out and the consensus mm -hmm. says 35% year on year. Now, I ask you, Don, from a stock market standpoint, what's so bad about that news? Nothing so bad about that. This correction we've been through is uh, over or close to over. Stocks got very, very cheap at the bottom a couple weeks ago. In fact, on a forward P.E. ratio basis, stocks got as cheap last week as they were at the end of March of 2009. Boys. No questions. Oh, no question the stocks are going higher. I think it's going to be a stretch for them to best the April highs. I think we'll end up with a positive year, but it'll be very difficult to push out to new highs. The economy is growing. There won't be a double dip, but it is an expansionless recovery. We're going to have to get used to, dare I use the word, boring. Boring. All right. Ms. Pinto, yeah. are you going to be the Darth Vader well, for Mr. Luskin's I, summer I might sunshine? Have, I, might I might have to be. There's no question that stocks are headed higher. Mutual fund cash levels are at their all-time low, about 4%. Uh, what gives Don the impetus to think that since stocks are going to go much higher? He said stocks are cheap on a forward-looking basis. How does he know? Stocks right now are trading about 15 times trailing 12 months earnings on, an, on a reported basis. So that's just about where they are historically. But what about dividend yields? Dividends are at an all-time low, about 2%. That's not really cheap. But you got a lot of high, high dividend I, stocks. I, I do. I do. I feel more. About, you know, Philip Morris. What about Secretary right uh, Secretary Tim Geithner's pledge to me in public on the program Wednesday night? You're a newsbreaker. That even though it's going to creep up a little bit, yeah. he's going to put a cap. He and Obama will not allow cap gains tax rates hey, dividends, and dividends 20%. tax rates. I hope to they get it passed. Twenty percent. Will they get it passed? Which you'll acknowledge is a low number. Uh, it, look, from fifteen percent to twenty percent is an increase, but it's better than thirty-nine point right. six. That doesn't that make you happy. It makes me happy. Right. It is. Well, I love, so to, then in, why aren't you I love to incentivize the private sector, but you're not. You're overlooking a important point. Okay. No. Talk not, to Don. Uh, to Don, it. how you doing, Don? Are you with me? Getting by. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You know. You know. In, in 1929, oh. we had a stock market crash, and Bernanke blames the Great Depression on the fact that we had a stock market crash. What he doesn't blame is the buildup to the crash, which was a debt-fueled credit boom. And the housing market crashed in 2006. He doesn't blame the fact that we were giving money away from free and forcing people question? to buy us. Is there a question what I'm for trying Don to tell a What I'm trying to tell Mr. Luskin is, doesn't he agree, which he probably doesn't, All right. is that household debt as a percentage of GDP is about, is about 100%. All right. Actually, technically 90%. Right. I think, I think Don, we're we, not running out of time. I are think we? we almost got a question out of Okay, it. here comes the Too question. Too much debt. What about all the deleverage that's right. lying ahead for the American there consumer and for the U.S. government? I'm letting you guys interview each other. Go ahead, Don. Your response oh, to sake. Mike Pento's oh, Darth please. Vader where, question. Where do I begin? Just for the record, Ben Bernanke doesn't believe the stock market crash caused the Great Depression. He believes the Fed caused the Great Depression by letting the money supply collapse by 30% between 1929 and 1932. On the behalf of the Fed, he publicly apologized oh. for that on the occasion of Milton Friedman's 90th birthday. Just, all you have to do is go to the Fed's website, and you'll find it for yourself. This okay. debt issue is talk about boring. This is what Nuro Rubini was talking about five years ago. Been there, done that. Households have shed $440 billion worth of debt over the last two and what years. About the government? Financial Financial obligation ratios and debt service ratios are the lowest Only they've been in a decade. Only because we have a 0% artificial interest rate, Don, well, right? What happens when rates not rise? Or we not, gonna at have, we're gonna, not at all. Uh, what, no, not at all. Not at all. A lot of that debt liquidation has been because of defaults. And That's what about, getting and there what about, the ugly way. But I read your piece in Forbes magazine, you, you t or in Forbes website. You talked nostalgically about the Depression as yes, a time of great, is a sign uh, of great healing. Uh, liquidation that's yes, good for the soul. Wonderful. It's what we need now. So, we need the so GDP to a, fall 32%. That's the cure for all our ills. What we have is $440 billion worth of consumer debt liquidation. So the consumer's ready to spend again. Drunk, stop drinking. I haven't had a drink in 15 years. Don Luskin, what's your favorite investment, my friend? Right now, favorite investment, because you are turning optimistic. Gold.
Go. Go. Look at this. It's Mike, Michael a short term treasuries and gold. Investment. What's your favorite? Short term investment? treasuries and gold. That's all you're going to buy. Uh, I like Philip Morris a little bit. All right, that's cool. Ask me what my favorite investment is. Well, Larry, what is your favorite I investment? I want to go into the risk trade and buy cyclically economic sensitive stocks because profits are rising, oh, tax God. rates on capital are low, and the European obstacle is yeah. being removed. Right. So I would buy Bingo. the commodities and the techs and the industrials. And Don Luskin, thank you ever so much. And Michael thank Pento, you. thank you ever so much. And Darth Vader, wherever you are, happy Friday night. Coming up, folks, my last word. Please stay right here with us.